Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today I am going to talk about my second leaderboard from Mr. World 2019. So the pageant is going to be held in the Philippines on the 23rd of August, so it's very close of this year of course. And as of this time, there are 63 confirmed delegates for the pageant and get this, the estimated number of participants this year is more or less than 100. I mean. This is just amazing. I have never seen this many contenders for a male pageant, but that makes it very, very exciting. Well, as I make my top 15 list today, I actually find it very, very difficult because it seems that there's already a lot of strong contenders competing for Mr. World 2019. And imagine there's still more to come. So it's going to be a very, very tough competition and of course hopefully the most the most deserving man wins the title because of course last last the last winner was Rohit Kandelwal from India which is of course at a very they they definitely have a large and huge shoes to fill I don't know what's happening today but anyway let's talk about my top 15 starting with Number 15 is Thailand, Anakin Notiprasit. I just cannot leave him out of the top 15 because I, I do think he is just very handsome and I love his boy next door look. He doesn't have the best body in the competition, but that face alone is just something that cannot be ignored. He's got that handsome boyish look overload, cuteness overload, and it just deserves to be in the top 15 list for now. Number 14 is Italy, Mirko Prividore. I think he's got one of the best faces in the competition. His look has an Italian charm written all over him. He's young though, he's only 21 years old. Plus, he's more of a model to me than a possible Mr. World. But let's see how he does in the competition. My number 13 is Spain, Daniel Torres Moreno. He's got a top 9 finish in Mr. International. He certainly is one of the strong contenders that we have this year. He's got the face, he's got the body, but what I am missing is still that wow moment, that wow factor that separates him from the rest and could make him a real standout. I mean, he's good. But I certainly prefer the other contenders when it comes to comparison. I don't know why, but I'm completely missing that wow factor in him. So I hope he could work on that. My number 12 is India, Vishnu Rai Menon. He is definitely a decent follow-up after India's victory. Vishnu's body is definitely one of the best in the competition. From his looks, I do think he looks good. But I am missing the consistency sometimes. Aside from that, he needs to control his smile as well. And nevertheless, I think, I do think he could still pull a placement for his country. But for a back-to-back -back victory, I don't think it could happen. But, well, let's see again. Number 11 is Costa Rica, Daniel Esquivel. I really, really like him very much. And he is now one of my sentimental favorites. His body looked amazing and his face looked stunning. I do still think that he needs to work on the consistency as well when it comes to his looks because sometimes he looks, oh my gosh, he's stunning. Sometimes he's just a good looking guy, but again, we need that wow factor. There are some photos of him though that just left me speechless. It was so good. My number 10 is Kenya, Kula Budi. This one is very, very smart and a great speaker. I do love his overall aura. I also think he's got a charming and attractive side to him. But I just would love to see those beard get trimmed very, very shortly because I find it a bit distracting and I do not like it at all. But nonetheless, potential contender for sure. My number nine is El Salvador, David Pivaral. He's a professional photographer, filmmaker and an engineer 
I don't even know why, but there's something about him and his overall aura that makes him perfect. His face got that very calm, sweet, and at the same time, masculine and very Greek godlike appeal. Something in me wanted to root for him to do very, very well in Mr. World. Also, one of my sentimental favorites in the competition. My number eight is Chile, Felipe Rojas Ramirez. Now, this one is working in a field of medicine and health. He does have that very nerdy and professional look in his photos, but when he stripped of his clothes and transformed into Mr. Chile, he completely transformed into someone who looked really, really great, and his body is also amazing. I do consider him as someone who has the potentials to go all out and do very, very well. My number seven is Brazil, Carlos Franco. Carlos is a model and an actor. He's got a very, very beautiful smile that everything shines when he does it. He's got a very handsome face and a great body as well. Aside from that, he is Mr. Brazil. And we all know that Brazil is a contender when it comes to male pageantry. Aside from that, Brazil is a power powerhouse. They know how to prepare and train their male candidates to make sure that they will always do well in the competition they are competing in. I am really, really excited to see what else he could offer to the pageant once it starts. My number six is Czech Republic, Jacob Kraus. He finished top five in Mr. International, and that is a huge achievement because Mr. International is actually one of the major male pageants as well that get a high level of quality when it comes to choosing a winner. And top five is already a big thing. It's actually a huge thing to make at least in the top five of that pageant. I do think he looked way, way better before than now, but with some preparation and changes and improvement in the styling, he could still bring back the same umph and bring back the same charisma that he got. But he still looked very, very handsome and his body looked way, way better though compared to when he was competing in Mr. International. My number five is Puerto Rico, Jose Humberto Cotto, and oh my, I have seen his recently uploaded photos and I am just amazed at how incredibly handsome he looks. He is definitely looking so, so ready to compete for Mr. World. He's got a very, very charming appeal and stare as well that is simply irresistible. My number four is Philippines, JB Saliba. He is going to be the host country boy this year, and I am not sure if I have said it before, but I think he is just one of a very few male representatives from the Philippines in male pageants who looked really, really well prepared for the competition and could possibly give a very, very strong fight as well. He's got a great physique, which I, cannot, which I cannot always say to other representatives from the Philippines. Beautiful smile and a very, very handsome face. And to be honest, I wouldn't complain at all if, if he could pull a victory for the Philippines. My number three is Equatorial Guinea, Jocelyn Ibana Miko, and oh my goodness, this one, this one, I love so much. I have seen many photos of him and I am just impressed and in love. I have seen him in his formal wear and boy, he looks stunning. He's actually got a pretty face, especially if styled and prepared properly. And when it comes to his body, it looked amazing. He's got those perfectly, perfectly carved abs and everything is just great. I would really, really love to see him do well in the competition and hopefully he will deliver. My number two is Mexico, Brian Fourier. I wouldn't be surprised if this one could pull a win in Mr. World as well. He's like the modern Prince Charming of our generation. He looked really, really stunning. He looked fresh and just incredibly handsome. Just on his overall appeal alone, he might as well be a possible shoe in in the top five or even in the final three. A very, very strong contender indeed from Mexico. And my current number one and favorite from Mr. World 2019 is Lebanon, 
Jean Paul Bitar. He was the winner of Mr. Worldwide 2015 and honestly, I don't have any idea about that pageant at all. But Mr. Lebanon get actually a huge credibility, high credibility when it comes to male pageantry. Same with Brazil, Lebanon is also one of these male pageants that is considered as one of the male pageants that are always sending some strong and good looking candidates that always dominates in male pageantry. But more of Jean Paul's Bitar's overlook alone, he could potentially pull another Mr. World win. He just screams winner from top to bottom. He's got a very, very handsome face. Again, Greek God is on a roll. He's got a very, very well sculpted physique and he just got all the goods to go and win the title. I will not say this is game over for everybody else because there are also some strong contenders, but I do think he is someone to keep an eye on because he is coming as the real contender for the title. So that's it. That's my second leaderboard from Mr. World 2019. What do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.